Welcome back. This is the Touchline, and now into our first interview segment. And pleased once again to have John Vaslin, athletics writer and publisher, on set today. Thank you so much, John Vaslin. How has your week been? My week has been brilliant. Uh, uh -huh. uh, we can't complain. It's uh, it's it's normal. Mm -hmm. A normal week with mm -hmm. events, and a lot is happening. A lot of preparation, especially on the on the forefront uh, uh -huh. towards the athletics. So there's a lot of preparation, a lot of things going behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, ADAC officials yeah, in the country. Yeah. You are in the country again no, doing their training. Now they are very, very harsh uh -huh. because you have now to have uh, three tests before you are allowed to, to, to go to the game. Yes. So there's a lot of training and, uh -huh. and things are going on. As much as we are getting the bans, but uh -huh. uh, when you look at uh, critically, you will see that uh, the reduction of <coughs> uh, top profile athletes mm -hmm. uh, in doping cases mm -hmm. is really dropping down. Mm -hmm. Now the people that are being caught, mm -hmm. they are from grassroots level, mm -hmm. which is very good now because the tests have gone to the grassroots level. Mm -hmm. So as much as everything is concerned athletics-wise, mm -hmm. we are happy AI is in the ground yeah. and things are really picking up. And, and yeah. the increase in uh, testing. Yes. Does it just target Kenya, which is in category A? No, 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 no. I, I think it is good. First, uh, we, 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 we thought maybe this is, was a game plan to actually eradicate us or to remove us from the system. Yeah. But uh, you see now it's bearing fruits, especially mm -hmm. from where I stand. Mm -hmm. Because right now, uh, the top athletes now, uh, like you see the statement that was made yesterday, uh, the, the, the AK, the ADAC, and the AIU, the center, yes, uh, yes. they were together, all of them, with the government of Kenya, and they made a very good statement because they are, they, they, the team that will be sent to the championship, that is a Paris, mm -hmm. is going to be a clean team. Mm -hmm. There is no doping uh, effect that mm -hmm. will be found in that team. So everything is being put into place. Uh, practical tests have been thorough. Now, mm -hmm. actually, we are the most tested country mm -hmm. in the world because oh, mm -hmm. you can find one athlete maybe receiving around 27 mm -hmm. tests mm -hmm. per year. That mm -hmm. is huge because it's blood, it's urine and all sorts. Yes. So, oh, of course, all this owing to the cases that yes. have been emerging from uh, the country in as far as not wanting to run clean yes. is concerned. Mm. And yesterday I did hear some of the soundbites from that particular meeting, yes, right? Yes, in yeah. Naivasha during the closing ceremony, the cabinet secretary was rooting for preventive yes. approach, right? Yes, like preventive. They are, yeah, don't done. take pride in how many people you've got. Yes, don't take pride in that. <laughs> take pride in how, how many people we are saving. That, those who are he said, yes, which exactly. I totally mm -hmm. concur with him. Mm -hmm. Because we are on the right platform. A lot of money, that is Five million dollar was pumped into this doping. Mm -hmm. We need to see results. Mm -hmm. Yes, and also there've been efforts by the government to put in place long-term measures, including the construction of uh, an accredited lab. Yes, mm -hmm. yes that yes, will yes. be the only one in Sub-Sahara. That will be the only one because the one we used to have, the mm -hmm. South African lab, mm -hmm. it had issues, mm -hmm. integrity issues, and actually it was suspended mm -hmm. uh, for six months. So mm -hmm. we are hoping it will be open after Olympics mm -hmm. because that was the only one that was helping in, in Africa. And then the beauty about that lab mm -hmm. was that mm -hmm. the tests were being done on a credit basis. Mm -hmm. You don't pay for it to be done. You pay later uh -huh. after. So it was a credit-based uh -huh. lab, which uh -huh. was very helpful. If you don't have money, uh -huh. you send your results. When the results are ready, you send the cash, then it goes there. So right now we are using Doha, uh -huh. or we go to direct to... What, to, to uh, yes, and what happens to, let's say, but it's just a general question maybe, about, let's say, these road races. Let's say uh, there was a 10 road race, 50-kilometer uh, road race last yes. one. Where do those uh, tests uh, conduct? Uh, the, the test for such, because it's a local uh, uh, right. race, mm -hmm. they cannot test everyone. Mm -hmm. They mm -hmm. usually pick. It's a, <coughs> random, uh, it's a random pick. They can mm -hmm. pick number one, they can pick number two, mm -hmm. they can pick number five, they can pick number four, or they can pick the podium finish, which is... Uh, around one or one to five mm -hmm. because they are paid into that. So those are those are their samples mm -hmm. are taken to the lab to be tested. Mm -hmm. After being tested, which is it takes around sixty days for you to have refined results. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. athletes have to wait. Once it is you are you have gone through the test, you have passed the test, then a payment or the prize money is giving out. Yes. But it has been a lot of issues and and 
the economy was, has really hit a lot of those people who used to you, you remember like uh, Kakamega Forest Marathon yes, it never yes, happened yes, last yes. year and this year again we're expecting yeah. it not to happen you remember Eldoret City Marathon was yeah. postponed last year yeah. because of issues of payments uh -huh. so economic wise it was hit but Eldoret City Marathon this year they happen. that far. it yeah, happened the low key. yeah uh, that was low key because yeah. of finances yeah. but we hope Moses Tanu in the next edition things will go back because it is the highest paying marathon in, in the country in the country yeah winners going home with five million five million it's same as lagos city marathon but your real lagos they have upscaled again a mm -hmm. little bit yeah yes and that's uh, of course the we did witness last uh, weekend the being the born of the new talents yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. you know I we never have, seen you the, there mm -hmm. there is nothing much you can talk about kids because <laughs> yeah, yeah, this sure, is, uh, they are evolving yes. but mm -hmm. you see how good we are mm -hmm. you remember uganda was the defending champion mm -hmm. but this time around mm -hmm. uganda was seen in under 12 category where they took a position uh, top three they were number three yes, in only. under 12 yeah. position but otherwise in every category kenya swept one actually there is a category under 12 category for for girls mm -hmm. they swept the whole podium finish uh -huh. so uganda was swept and uh, was the defending champion mm -hmm. but we ate everything from one until we were asking our, 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 our the team managers or the the, the coaches, the coaches yeah. can you even leave a slot for the visitors. We cannot take everything and eat at home. Yeah. But it was a brilliant, brilliant finish. The only name that reigned supreme there was Diana Chepkemoy. Mm -hmm. She's the Africa under 20, yes, mm -hmm. Africa under 20, mm -hmm. uh, 3,000 meter champ, mm -hmm. uh, champion. Mm -hmm. So that is the, the, a little bit name that had something that you can talk about. Mm -hmm. And she really defended and represented the country well because she won the under 18, which was the top mm -hmm. uh, event of the day. Mm -hmm. But uh, generally looking is that if we keep what we saw, mm -hmm. if we keep and grow them, mm -hmm. those are the future champions. Mm -hmm. You can imagine now we are struggling, especially in the steeple chase. Yes. El, El Bakari is going to happen. 10,000 meters uh, as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah and 10,000. El Bakari yeah. is going to, to, to rule again. Mm -hmm. She is running mm -hmm. That's uh, at Mar Marrakech. Mm -hmm. He's running. Yes. No, we, you know, with runnings about shape. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Right now, Ethiopia and uh, Morocco, uh -huh. they are the top shape. Right now, mm -hmm. Kenya, we are still struggling. Mm -hmm. And for us to get a team, it's going to take time. But the moment we get again that team, mm -hmm. we will rule for certainly like 20, 20 years to come. Nice. So we are building up the team, but we are at the performance. We are not there. The championship party, mm -hmm. we no, be lucky if we, get if we finish at podium. number four. We <laughs> won't four. have number four. Yes, yeah. number, and, and uh, at that particular championship also, um, what, now what I, I saw, I was interviewing some of them and they were all uh, grateful and thankful to their to their man, to their training camps yes. where they train from what what kind of uh, train do what kind of camps nurture they, such talents yeah, yeah. You, you, they have a, a, a very renowned coach who who, who shapes the young kids mm -hmm. called Robert Ngisere. Mm -hmm. He's one of the who greatest. Who was also in charge of yeah, the team, Yeah, he was in right? charge, actually, mm -hmm. the head coach. Mm -hmm. And from him, he has history, has built Edna Jebitok, you see, mm -hmm. Faith, Kipiego. These are people who have passed through his hands. He has mm -hmm. been there mm -hmm. in season and out of season. Mm -hmm. And his career or his coaching style has really produced one of the finest athletes that we have in the country. Mm -hmm. The champions that have passed even, some who have retired. Mm -hmm. So when you have such a figure, mm -hmm. a, a, a head figure mm -hmm. such, mm -hmm. Then you see the experience and everything that he has, mm -hmm. he pumps into them. Mm -hmm. You know, he used to be a teacher, mm -hmm. and this was secondary school where he is good at. Mm -hmm. So uh, he, they knew exactly, you know, the tactics they use is, th why they took to Ngong is because Ngong is hilly. Mm -hmm. and they had to push these young ones mm -hmm. because they are still young. Mm -hmm. They had to push them to a certain level mm -hmm. that they can do the training. Mm -hmm. So every morning they were running up in the hills mm -hmm. for endurance purposes. Mm -hmm. It's stamina to lose. And mm -hmm. then one of the gimmicks or the style that they used at the Ngong race course is, you know when they cut with cross country, it's mm -hmm. about the course. For now, you see with the young kids, yes. it's only the difficult part is the grass level. Yes. They don't chop everything it, on the grass yeah, level. They leave yes. a certain level and of I, grass. I had one, some of them complaining yes, the yeah, grass yeah, was yeah. long. Yeah, 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 because uh -huh. the grass is long. That's where now you are coming because a cross-country meet uh -huh. has to be a difficult course yes. where you'll find water, you'll find barriers, yes. you'll find hilly parts, you'll find sudden depths, you'll find sharp corners. Mm -hmm. You have to be ready for that. Mm -hmm. But for the young kids, because they're under 18, mm -hmm. the only barrier that they had mm -hmm. was the grass level that it wasn't 
cut to the level that uh, they wanted or they were expecting. Mm -hmm. So it was a hard course for them mm -hmm. because you have to step and then you have to pull the grass as you go, mm -hmm. which is a difficult thing. So for Kenya going in Gong Forest, mm -hmm. it's of, to endure such, mm -hmm. and they did well mm -hmm. and they swept everything mm -hmm. that was there. To yes, be and, and such talents like in the, in the under 18 and under, uh, under 18 girls and boys would. Oh, would, future, the, the future, future is bright. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Even not the future now, they are going to be now representative for now. Mm -hmm. They are heading to for 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 a while under under 20. Mm -hmm. We are going to sweep everything. That one take it to the bank. Mm -hmm. We will sweep in every category that you there because these kids they have what it takes. Mm -hmm. Already the training that they have had mm -hmm. for the last you know they used the whole of school, mm -hmm. the closing school which yeah. actually was extended to two weeks. During the which was perfect. Uh -huh. Yes. So they had a month and two weeks on top uh -huh. of proper training. So what they have. Uh, I think uh, in August we are going to sweep again <coughs> at 120 mm -hmm. championship. Yes. Yeah. And of course the paving way for the national championship happening next week. Is it yes, yes, yes. It's just next week. Next Actually, week? it's Wednesday, Tuesday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Tuesday yeah. uh, 21st and 22nd. Yes. Yeah, that's Tuesday, Wednesday. Or when, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday. Uh -huh. So and that's why. And, uh, and this is not like um, this are just national titles at stake. This one is everything. But also uh, <laughs> looking at the, na the t Olympic trials <laughs> inside, right? Yes, yes, mm -hmm. yes. Actually, uh, this one is for Africa Championship that is coming next yeah, month. Yes. So they are going to pick the team. Mm -hmm. And, you know, everyone that will want to go to Africa mm -hmm. will be there to, to go and pace. But there are those people who, who are now focusing or, 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 or pegging their hopes mm -hmm. for the Olympics. Mm -hmm. Some of those top elite athletes will find them missing, but you'll find them there mm -hmm. coming to watch because mm -hmm. of the passion that they have. Mm -hmm. So because of program and training, you know, last week, I was with Paris Chepchichir at mm. her place. I yeah. spent two days with Paris. Mm -hmm. And actually she won. Uh, she won the LG you were talking about with, yes, uh, yes, with my yes, senior here yeah, yeah, yeah. about the awards. Mm -hmm. Actually, athletics too, took mm -hmm. most of the awards, two awards, yeah. because we took the February award, then we took the April award. Yeah. We took the April because um, uh, Perry said the women-only yeah. marathon yes. record, mm -hmm. and then we took the February because uh, Nyango. the Maclet and Nyango uh -huh. won the Sirigua Cross Country. Mm -hmm. So you can see now how, how it is, and I was looking at Paris. Actually, she, she has started this week mm -hmm. proper training for Olympics mm -hmm. because she she was waiting for her body to recover. You know, with athletics, you have to be out around two to a maximum of three weeks for your body to rebuild again the energy mm -hmm. that is supposed to be mm -hmm. so that you can start. And then the mm -hmm. training will take like three months training, mm -hmm. proper training mm -hmm. for preparation for the Olympics to go and defend her title. Mm -hmm. So it takes time for mm -hmm. you to be a champion. Mm -hmm. You'll find mm -hmm. such a, a caliber, not yeah. Yeah. A, 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 an elite athlete of uh, such a caliber. Mm -hmm. If you race in a year one, mm -hmm. two races mm -hmm. or three races, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because of appearance is good, yeah. winning is good, yeah. cost money is good. Yeah. So preparation in every and this is why we are talking about the junior or the people that are going to compete at national trials. Mm -hmm. You know the beauty about athletics, mm -hmm. there is no gimmicks, mm -hmm. there is no stealing. Yeah, yeah. The results it's will your form. prevail, it's uh -huh. your form. Uh -huh. If a case says it's one, two, three, yes. they're going to pick those people who cross the lane yes. fast. Yes. So one, two, three will automatically uh -huh. be seen by everyone. Mm -hmm. That's how the team is picked. Mm -hmm. So we'll pick the best that is going ahead yes. for next month. That Africa will be for the Africa Championship, Championship then uh, the Africa Championship. Yeah. Then uh, following into that will be the Olympic selection, which I think yes, it's yes. a mini Olympics. It's a mini, yeah, usually that one is tough because <laughs> every top athlete yes. that you've ever seen uh -huh. in the world. Uh, there's been an issue be with, the, with the timings and also the availability of training, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. the venue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right How now, is this a, a right factor when you have Ulinzi? Right now, we don't have a pitch uh -huh. for training. That's the sorry state of the matter. Uh -huh. The only pitch we had was near a national stadium that was remaining up to the standard. Yeah, but accredited. It has, uh -huh. Yeah, it has been struck off because the government is preparing for the Chan Championship that will be happening uh -huh. in September. Uh -huh. So again, now it has been dug, and the track itself uh -huh. had worn out. Actually, we were allowed to host the... Uh, what is it called, the uh, Kip Kano Classic. Kip, yeah. uh, we were allowed to host that because of the favor that World Athletics had. Actually, we could have, it could have been taken somewhere else because the track, it's, in, it's, it's not in good shape. Mm -hmm. The government or the ministry wanted to put a new track mm -hmm. or a new tough mm -hmm. uh, running, running track. Mm -hmm. But again, when you look at the, the money that was to be pumped into, 100 million is mm -hmm. what was supposed to be pumped into. Mm -hmm. So the ministry saw, why should we waste 100 million on a one-day event, event, then yeah. you are going again to approve the yeah, whole thing. Yeah. So it was going to be a wastage of money. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. uh, right now we have Ulinzi Stadium, 
which mm -hmm. was made by the money from the government, yes. which was wasted, that is a waste, because you they, cannot, never, they never, you, they con, never, they never, they never like got in touch mm -hmm. with professionals. Mm -hmm. You know, with laying of turf, you bring the owners you mean of the, the, the lands are not the okay. lands mm -hmm. are not. We don't have the full lands. It's supposed mm -hmm. to be nine lands. Mm -hmm. At Olins, we have eight lands. When you look at the track official, track official need to sit on the tenth land mm -hmm. if you don't have the land. Mm -hmm. There is no land to sit on that. So the track official is forced into the ninth land that is there. Mm -hmm. Because every because the, the official are mm -hmm. segmented at various stages, mm -hmm. 800 meters, mm -hmm. 400 meters, mm -hmm. and they have to be there because they are marking and reporting if in case you're stepping on your opponent's mm -hmm. land. Mm -hmm. But you'll find this track official, they are stepping inside the track. So with that, and then again, the, space, the, the measurements, the land measurements on how they are supposed to be. Mm -hmm. You see, if you look at the 400, I'll tell you 400 meters, mm -hmm. it's 400 meters supposed to have like a bend when you are coming. Mm -hmm. But when you look at the distance of 400 meters, you will see like it's a straight line. That's not approved in the world of mm -hmm. athletics. Mm -hmm. So they never consulted. The military never consulted. They came, took notes but they refuse to allow professionals mm -hmm. to come into play. You know, yeah. that's what's coming into play right now with uh, less facilities that are accredited, whose times, at least if good times or best times are set there, then they are disregarded because they uh, run in substandard. We, we won't mm -hmm. have qualifying times. So, what we ha so what's the so provision from the World <laughs> Athletics? <laughs> no, we have... Uh, you know, people, there are those people who qualified even last year. During yes, the through various championships. Championship, yes. yes, various championships. Uh -huh. So those are the times that people are going to tag. Mm -hmm. But here at uh, Olinzi, for the local athletes for, looking for, 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 the for, for the... For the sake of reporting, mm -hmm. we will have time, uh -huh. which will not be official <coughs> time because of the issues, technical issues that we have. Mm -hmm. So if the team is going to be picked one, based on one, two, three, mm -hmm. then you just have to pick one, two, three. Yeah. But officially time, mm -hmm. we don't have qualifying time there. Yes, indeed. Thank you so much, John Vaslin. And also maybe just brief second to touch about the uh, ongoing World Diamond League series in Marrakech. Ah, Marrakech. Weekend, yes, Marrakech is on mm -hmm. and uh, El Bakali as usual mm -hmm. is going to to, to fight uh, with... Uh, Kenyans with, need to wrestle with, that title uh, from him. You know, it's the first time. It will take time. It's the right first now time we don't... We no world champion, no We're expecting champ. Kibi Watt, but mm -hmm. when the last lap reaches, Kibi Watt is again leaning, the shoulder is leaning. So <laughs> Dropping the have, shoulder. What does, yeah, we don't have. And then the only person we were depending on for longevity was mm -hmm. Conceslas Kipruto. But boom, look at it right but now. But look, uh, happy nothing. that he's back as well. He'll be back, Marrakech but, this weekend. Yeah. But uh, shape-wise, Marrakech, is, he, he has been thrown into the deeper sea because we haven't seen him of late. Mm -hmm. So he has been thrown somewhere that... Maybe he'll try, but I don't see anything mm -hmm. or him going mm -hmm. to the try. And again, mm -hmm. we have the 800, the most important race for us to watch is 800 meters mm -hmm. because we are going to have three Kenyans going there. Mm -hmm. We're having Will, Will, Will Kinyamal mm -hmm. of Commonwealth Games, 800 mm -hmm. meter champion. Mm -hmm. We are having Emmanuel mm -hmm. Korir, mm -hmm. the, the world, the former world, world and the champion. reigning yes. Olympic, Olympic 800 meter champion. Mm -hmm. Then we have the young kid on the block, that is Emmanuel Wanyoni, uh -huh. going to run against the two. But shape wise, if you look at, uh, uh, at the three Kenyans, uh -huh. Emmanuel Ewanyoni is going to prevail. We haven't yeah, seen the yes. goodness, the, 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 the better shape of, of Emmanuel. Korea. Korea. Yeah. So we can't talk. Although he ran last year, but the performance was dipping it's down. Really, and his body but language the only was not... person now who will save us, even at the Olympics, mm -hmm. is Emmanuel Ewanyoni. Yes, yeah. indeed. And we, we keep you posted on how it went in Marrakesh this weekend. That's the Diamond League and also the forthcoming National Athletics Championship. So thank you so much, John Vaseline. John Vaseline is an uh, athletics publisher and also a writer with. How Athletic. can people read the articles? Athletics News. Athletics. Just log into athletics.co.ke. Yes. Yes. Log on athleticsnews.com. .co.ke yes, .co yes. and find out all the nice stories that we always talk about here in Arash. Yes. Find them in depth. Thank you so much, John Vastin. A pleasure to have you each Anytime, and every time. Bro. Anytime. Right? But don't go too far. I'll be back uh, with the, uh, members of the Oka Swimming Club here on the touchline.